Dodge is no amateur when it comes to bringing serious horsepower to the world of cars. In 2015, they broke all the rules, producing the fastest accelerating muscle car, the Hellcat Challenger, and the world's fastest production sedan, the Hellcat Charger. As if that wasn't enough, they turned up the heat to 11 and brought out the SRT Demon. The SRT Demon broke even more rules with its 840 available horsepower, drag slicks, and check this out, an official letter from the NHRA banning it from the track because it was too damn fast. Between Hellcats, Demons, and Hellcat Red Eyes, and Scat Packs, at this point it feels like we've seen it all until recently, when Dodge announced its last call model the Demon 170. 1,025 horsepower and 945 pound-feet of torque. Now this is just bananas at this point, but we're here for it. Demon 170 is also the world's quickest zero to 60 production car hitting that mile per hour at just 1.66 seconds. And it also joins his little brother, the original Demon, on the NHRA ban list with a certified quarter mile time of 8.91 seconds at 151.17 miles per hour. Now, just to compare, it's little brother, the, the Demon did the quarter mile in 9.65 seconds at 140 miles per hour. Now, it may seem that this is just a hopped up Demon, but it's not. Now, Demon 170 gets a 3.0 liter supercharger with 40% increase in boost. Now, that increases this output of boost to 21.3 PSI, and it's rocking a 3.02 or 302 inch pulley. New injectors, 105 millimeter throttle body so this mammoth can breathe, upgraded valves and valve guides, main bearing caps, rod bearings, connecting rods, even the block was machined and modified for the head studs and main bearing cap bolts. New crank damper and new spark plugs with a lower heat range for optimal combustion of, check it out, ethanol fuel. Speaking of fuel, you may have heard the Demon 170 actually runs on ethanol. So I dug a little deeper and found out that the car has recalibrated PCM. PCM, what does that mean? It's the power control module. And what it does is it optimizes fuel spark for premium and high ethanol fuel. So the car actually reads how high the ethanol content is and it shows you in the instrument cluster. It's kind of like a breathalyzer for the Demon 170. <laughs> and if you have 20% ethanol, you will have a little white gas pump icon. If you have 65% or more ethanol, a blue gas pump icon will illuminate, indicating you now have access to the full 1,025 horsepower. On E10 fuel, the Demon 170 can reach 900 horsepower, 900, we're saying it like it's nothing, 900 horsepower and 810 pound-feet of torque. Now, the biggest Mopar Flex of 2015 was showing off your red key. This indicated you had the full 707 horsepower compared to the black key, which only unlocked 500 horsepower. Well, the Demon 170 only has red keys because the car can only unlock its full 1,025 horsepower based off the ethanol content. It's the world's first production car built with staggered drag radials and fender flares, which allows it to launch with more force than its SRT Hellcat Red Eye wide body counterpart. The SRT Demon 170 is clearly built for one thing, and that is speed. And as we continue to head toward an electric future, companies such as Ford and Dodge and Chevrolet are coming out with amazing vehicles like the Mustang, Dark Horse, and the Corvette E-Ray. So let me know what you think in the comments below about these new vehicles that these companies are coming out with. At Stephen W asked me, where did you get that sweatshirt at? He's talking about this one right here, the Bronco sweatshirt. Now I actually got it from our dealership uh, accessories department at Lee Johnson Ford. I think it's seasonal, but there's always some fresh swag in there from Mustang to Bronco, Maki, -E, Raptor, and everything in between. Now, if you wanna know more on the Corvette E-Ray, then definitely check out this video. Or if you wanna know more about the all new Mustang Narc Horse and it's 500 horsepower, then check out this video. If you love these videos, don't be shy, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, guys, peace out.